Hello everyone. Welcome back to UGC Net English Quizzes. The first question is Dash is a manuscript record of the great survey of much of England and parts of Wales completed in 1086 by order of William I known as William the Conqueror. Answer The Domesday Book. The Domesday Book is a manuscript record of the great survey of much of England and parts of Wales completed in 1086 by order of William I, known as William the Conqueror. The second question The Red Wall. Name of a fictional place it is a series of children's fantasy novels written by the British writer Dash. Answer Brian Jacques. Red Wall, Name of a Fictional Place is a series of children's fantasy novels by British writer Brian Jacques. Third question. A poet can survive everything but a misprint. Who said? Answer. Oscar Wilde. A poet can survive everything but a misprint. Said Oscar Wilde. Now the fourth question. Anglo-Saxon meter is marked by dash and dash. Answer. Accent and persistent alliteration. Anglo-Saxon meter is marked by accent and persistent alliteration. The fifth question. The Slave Trade Act was an act of the Parliament of the United Kingdom prohibiting the slave trade in the British Empire. It was passed in dash. Answer 1807 The Slave Trade Act was an act of the Parliament of the United Kingdom prohibiting the slave trade in the British Empire was passed in 1807. Now the sixth question. The Life of Samuel Johnson LLD published in 1791 was written by Dash. This is the official biography of Dr. Samuel Johnson. Answer James Boswell. The Life of Samuel Johnson LLD 1791 was written by James Boswell. Now the seventh question. What was the origin of the race of Nizim Ezekiel? Answer Bani Israel, which is Mumbai's Marathi speaking Jewish community. What was the origin of the race of the Indian English poet Nisim Zikia? Bani Israel, Mumbai's Marathi speaking Jewish community. Now the eighth question. The word semiology was used the first in the 17th century by the English philosopher Dash. Answer John Locke. The word semiology was used the first 
in the 17th century by the English philosopher John Locke. Now the ninth question. According to Aurobindo the Ghosh, there are five stages of integral education. They are dash. Answer. Physical education, vital education, mental education, psychic education and spiritual education. According to Sri Aurobindo Ghosh, there are five stages of integral education. They are physical education, vital education, mental education, psychic education and uh, spiritual education. Question number 10. Who said, Great is the art of a beginning, but the greater is the art of ending. Answer, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, who said, Great is the art of a beginning, but the greater is the art of ending. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Now the 11th question, who is Thursis in the poem of the same name? Thursis is a poem written by Matthew Arnold. Who is Thursis? Answer, Arthur Hugh Clark. Who is Thursis in the poem of the same name written by Matthew Arnold? Arthur Hugh Clark. Now, question number 12. Dash was an American author best known for her works of speculative fiction, including science fiction works set in her Hainish universe and the Earthsea fantasy series. Answer. Ursula Crowbar Leakin. Ursula Kyaba Leakin. Dash was an American author best known for her works of speculative fiction, including science fiction works set in her Hainish universe and the artsy fantasy series. Azela Krova Leakin. Question number 13. Dash was a utopian scheme devised in 1794 by, among others, the poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge and Robert Southey for an egalitarian community. Answer Pandisocracy. Pandisocracy was a utopian scheme devised in 1794. By among others, the poets Samuel Taylor Coleridge and Robert Southey for an egalitarian community. Question number 14. Dash is a 9th to 12th century collection of prose writings chronicling the history of the Anglo Saxons. Answer. The Anglo-Saxon Chronicle. The Anglo-Saxon Chronicle is a 9th to 12th century collection of prose writings chronicling the history of the Anglo-Saxons. Question number 15. New humanism was a term applied to a theory of criticism together with its consequences for culture and political thought developed around 1900 by the American scholar Irving Babbitt and the American literary critic and essayist Dash. Answer Paul Elmer Moore 
New humanism was a term applied to a theory of literary criticism together with its consequences for culture and political thought developed around 1900 by the American scholar Irving Babbitt and the American literary critic and essayist Paul Almomo. Question number 16. The last battle of Beowulf takes place in the kingdom of Dash, where Beowulf has become king. Answer. Geatland. The last battle of Beowulf takes place in the kingdom of Geatland, where Beowulf has become king. Question number 17. A Saturday afternoon in November was approaching the time of twilight and a vast tract of unenclosed wild known as Egden Hearth and browned itself moment by moment. It is the opening of Dash. Answer. Thomas Hardy's novel, The Return of the Native. A Saturday afternoon in November was approaching the time of twilight and a vast tract of unenclosed wild known as Agonin Hearth embrowned itself moment by moment. It's the opening of Thomas Hardy's The Return of the Native. Question number 18. King Alfred the Great assigned a bishops to translate Pope Gregory's Dash. Answer. Pastoral care, also known as pastoral rule. King Alfred assigned bishops to translate Pope Gregory's work, pastoral care, which is also known by another name, that is pastoral rule. Question number 19. Dash was the founder of the Tudor dynasty unifying the warring factions in the wars of divorces. Answer. King Henry VII. Henry VII was the founder of the Tudor dynasty, unifying the warring factions in the wars of divorces. Question number 20. Dash is considered by many to be the central representative of Romanticism in Russian literature, although he was not a, unequivocally known as a Romantic. Russian critics have traditionally argued that his works represent a path from Neoclassicism through Romanticism to Realism. Answer, Alexander Pushkin. Alexander Pushkin is considered by many to be the central representative of Romanticism in Russian literature, although he was not unequivocally known as a Romantic. Russian critics have traditionally argued that his works represent a path from Neoclassicism through Romanticism to Realism. Question number 21. Although I am an old man, night is generally my time for walking. This is the opening of the work. Answer. The Old Curiosity Shop, written by Charles Dickens. Although I am an old man, Night is generally my time for walking. This is the beginning of Charles Dickens' The Old Curiosity Shop. Question number 22. 
Maxim Gorky's full name was Dash. Answer: Alexey Maximovich Pashkov. Maxim Gorky's full name was Alexey Maximovich Pashkov. Question number twenty-three. King Alfred the Great's relationship with with foreign powers are evident in his translation of Dash, written by Orosius. Answer: History of the world. King Alfred the Great's relationships with foreign powers are evident. And his translation of the history of the world written by Orosius. Question number twenty-four. Dash is a fictional character in a William Goldman's nineteen seventy-three novel, *The Princess Bride*. Answer: Inigo Montoya. Inigo Montoya is a fictional character in a William Goldman's 1973 novel, *The Princess Bride*. Remember, it is not William Golding. This is William Goldman. His novel is *The Princess Bride*. Question number twenty-five. Feudalism took root in England with the dash. Answer: William of Normandy's The Norman Conquest. Feudalism took root in England with William of Normandy's The Norman Conquest. Question number twenty-six. The age of dash has been very aptly called the golden age of English pulpit. Answer: John Milton. The age of John Milton has been very aptly called the golden age of English pulpit. Question number twenty-seven. A detailed account of the old English poet Dash is given by Venerable Bede in his book, The Ecclesiastical History of the English People. Answer: Carmen. A detailed account of the old English poet Carmen. is given by venerable beer in his work the ecclesiastical history of the english people question number 28 there was no possibility of taking a walk that day which novel begins thus Answer: Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. There was no possibility of taking a walk that day. Which novel begins thus? Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre. Question number twenty-nine. Dash was a high, thick-soled, laced boot. Worn by actors in a Greek and a Roman tragic drama. Answer: Cotunas. Cotunas was a high, thick, tall, delayed boot worn by actors in a Greek and Roman tragic drama. Now the last question. Astria Redux 
written by John Dryden in 1660, is a royalist panegyric in which Dryden welcomes the new regime of Dash. Answer: King Charles II. Astria Redux, written by John Dryden in 1660, is a royalist panegyric in which Dryden welcomes the new regime of King Charles II. That's all for today. We will meet again in the next class with some other interesting questions.